What the freak? Oh my gosh, we're in this already. Hold on, pause. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I need my intro, bro. Chill. Okay, I guess we're doing this without an intro. I'll do my intro in a minute here, I guess. This is pretty cool. I mean, kind of weird, but also kind of cool. Oh, what the? Edith Finch. Who names, who names their kid Edith? A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm mega confused I'm right now. Start at the beginning with the house. Okay. <laughs> I guess I could do my intro here, right in front of the missing child my sign. Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Oh my gosh. Alright. Yo, what is going on, guys? And welcome back to Spooky Season. This is day... Oh gosh. What day is this? 26? Today we're playing What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, this game... I mean, I booted up and I was getting in the mental mindset to start recording and stuff, but, I mean, it's dropping Someone me straight in. Link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. This game is really, like, intuitive. Is that the right word? <laughs> it, intuitive? I was here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. What the heck? You lived in a Whoville house? Well, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. In her will. Okay. Probably unlocks the no, house. No. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. I love the words, like, in the game. That's sick. The Finches. I Obviously, I don't know anything about this game. Uh, I've heard, though, that this is more so on the spooky side rather than the, like, outright horror side. So, I don't know. Uh, still not comfortable with it, but... <laughs> the truth is... Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. Oh, so she inherited the house. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Oh. Uh, I'm surprised. Why didn't the state repossess this house? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I know why. <laughs> I got a friggin' Dr. Seuss house over here. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. Uncomfortably silent. Well, at least she's self-aware. About to say something, but never do. Mmm. We had a poetry slam right now. <laughs> Whoa! What is that? Another whale? The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Mmm. Cause it was spoopy. Now, as a seventeen-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. Spoopy. I was afraid of the house. By the way. Why is she going back to this house as a 17-year-old? Hmm? You're not even legal. You're you're not even responsible yet. I mean, could I peek through the doggy door? Okay. You know, I should have tried the front Probably door the first. The doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Uh, <laughs> Probably should have tried the front door first. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. The but... first time in years. January 2010. Wonka. I felt like I was home. Whoa. Yo, they left it, like... Uh, I don't I even know how to describe family, this mess. <laughs> there were just memories of one. <laughs> like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Oh, wow. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Ooh. Beloved brother to Edith, son of Don, great-grandson to Edie. Or Eddie? How does this work, bro? How does this work? Edie. Okay, so I'm not Edie. The table was That's still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. What? Mom was the only one of us who could imagine great-grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Edie. Oh, so I did pronounce it right. <laughs> I was pronouncing it wrong. Or, I thought I was pronouncing it wrong to be funny for the for the bit, but I was actually pronouncing it right. <laughs> Imagine being named Edie. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much. It's uncanny. I mean, look at, just look at the lampshade. It's made of bull. Even the fireplace had a story. <clears throat> Edie told me the bricks came from the original house, after it sank. 
after it sank? Oh, that's the original house? That doesn't look much better. Dang, there's so much- oh, the basement. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh, okay. Okay, good. I didn't want to go in the basement anyway. <laughs> Barbara. Oh, oh, yep. Crank, crank, crank. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Who the frick is Barbara? She was not on the fridge. Milton disappeared. Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Were they having a, a household war? Like what? Oh my gosh, that room was spoopy. Nope. Nope. Grandpa, help me. That room is spoopy. I'm going to come back to it. No, I, I got to face my fear. I spent <sighs> a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes what? regretted not sealing it up. What? Why is Walter's room the ocean? 20,000 leagues under the sea. My favorite book. <laughs> I read, I think I read 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. I think I read this book for a school project, I think. But you guys know I have a deathly fear of the ocean, so. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. <clears throat> what the freak? Is this where the spoopy begins, or how's this work? Oh my gosh. Maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Milton. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear oh. my brother Milton had been here before me. Oh, Milton was a person. I don't know why I thought Milton was the cat. <laughs> I got confused. <clears throat> Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Oh, spoopy noise. Okay, close behind me. Not I as long grew as... up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Bro, how many names do I gotta remember? Oh, I definitely not creepy. Since Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Molly, 1937 to 1947. Dang, so she only lived for 10 years? Dang, bro. This family tragic. December Dear. 13th, 1947. All right. Dear Diary. You got it. I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Am I Molly right now? Oh my gosh, hang on. The gerbil the food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. <gasps> uh, no! Well, look at the starfish. How you gonna do my boy Patrick like that, bro? Oh gosh. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Do not eat Christopher! The only fish are eating is salmon, okay? I, I ate. ate a lot of things that night. She's very pale. I, aren't these supposed to be fake? This looks like a fake plant. I don't think... I, I think those are made of styrofoam. I don't think those... So, child says she's hungry. Mother denies her. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Whoa. It was it's a, a bird. bird. swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. Even the window's chained up. Well, we're probably... And suddenly... Really high up. <laughs> oh my! I was a cat. What? I. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not a cat. Go back inside. Can I jump? How's this work? Uh, uh, parkour master. This cat knows how to jump. Ah! And Dad didn't even look at me. Whoa! Hello, noticed me. I'm teabagging on your window. <laughs> I do not understand what's going on, but. Maybe she's dreaming? Maybe she did fall asleep? And I almost got her. <laughs> uh, tell she was getting my gosh! Really tired. Are we a cat or a frog? What the frick? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bro, look at all this stuff, man. There's like toys. I'm uh, sad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Anymore? All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Eating the mama bird? Uh, what, is she an actual cat? What is this? And you fell to your death. I was an owl. First, all I heard... Oh, oh, I hear the nibbling. I hear the nibbling. Ah! Where? Wabbits! 
No, don't kill the rabbit, please! No, not the wabbits! Come here, boy! No, not the wabbit! Oh! 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 Swallow that thing whole? Bro, the owl got a gullet. Well, no. That was Doom Guy's rabbit. <laughs> He's coming for you now. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Huh? A shark on land? What the freak? <laughs> Oh, what, what is happening? What, what is happening? Now she's crazy. Oh my gosh. I can, there, there. I can move. There. Yeah, Frank. There. Shark has to keep swimming, otherwise it drowns. Ah. Ah. Kick flip off the, the mountain. Ah. Tumble, we go. Ah. I rolled off the cliff and into the ocean. Whoop. Friggin' Beyblade in. I was hungrier than ever. Oh no. Okay, well, usually I'm terrified of the ocean because of sharks, but I am the shark. Not the sea lion. Why am I killing, like, adorable fish? Juicy seals. No. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. This girl is not okay in the head. Follow the trail. Mmm, that smells good. <laughs> oh, break. Breaking my ankles. Do sharks have ankles? Oh my gosh. I actually, I actually got friggin' juked. Okay. Grabbed on tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. I'm the jump scare. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Okay, I'm... I'm... the squiggly squid now? Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Don't eat people. That's not good. That's... that's not something we do. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Uh. <laughs> Look at me! I am the captain now. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I saw something new, something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Bro, what is happening? I slithered onto the sand. And the good smell went into an old pipe. She's got to be dreaming or something, because I feel like this is just too outlandish to be real. Oh, I come out of the toilet. That's my worst fear. That's actually my worst fear. I got closer and closer. Wait, we're in the house. <gasps> whoa, wait, whoa, hang on. Is she gonna eat herself? Oh, All my, my stomach, stomach started, started growing. growling. Growling. And suddenly, I was me again. What I the? I breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. Whoa. But it's not going to wait much longer. The monster under the bed. No, I will be delicious. I have chills. So she got eaten? Is that what she's implying? She got eaten by her own nightmares? Or I don't wow. I'm not sure if I believed all of that. Yeah. I'm no. sure Edie would have. I just heard a cat. <gasps> it's you. Whoa. Let the pest so, die. When we adopted a stray kitten. She was the one who named it Molly. So was that Molly? Has Molly been here the whole time? <laughs> Poor Molly. My aunt used to have a cat named Molly. Great Grandma Edie's room. What, what the frick is this? For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. Norway? And misfortune. Whoa, Odin there's Finch resistance on the... the latest victims of the family curse. Odin. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son. Ingeborg? Johan? What are these names? On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house 
hoping to leave the curse behind. The curse. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. What the freak? <laughs> Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Oh. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Oh, so that's who I saw in the distance. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Okay, so she's Edith Jr.? Uh, just another name to add Edie to the list. Edie Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Lurpy? Purply? Oh, she had a whole... <laughs> Furpy? Wait, they all rhyme. Derpy? Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> Burpy and Bob. Nice. They all rhyme, and then there's Bob. And the attention to detail in this game is just top tier. There's a secret in this bathroom. <laughs> Don't tell me she got swallowed by the toilet. <laughs> Don't tell me she fell in the toilet and couldn't get out. I've fallen, and I can't get up! It's hidden in this book. Whoa. Okay. The boiler room. <laughs> Calvin? How many names? Yeah, push that chair. <laughs> Fort Calvin. Interesting. Wow. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Because he perished? I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Mmm. This better not be sad, man. I'm getting- I'm getting- the sad music is playing. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Whoa. Oh, he's got a cast. Swing! Brother, swing, brother! Bruh. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Bro, bro was on shrooms? What are you, five? Oh, I gotta swing both At feet. At Barbara's funeral, <sighs> we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. Uh, get, yeah, now we're getting momentum. <laughs> Stop! Come Dinner's ready! Okay, dinner's ready. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Oh, footsteps. I told him going around was impossible. Going around was Maybe impossible? Maybe if I hadn't said that. Huh? Calvin, I'm not gonna tell you again! Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. What? About to do a backflip over the. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh, we're at, we're at critical mass here. We're at critical mass. Holy frick! No going around. Woo! Or maybe there is. <laughs> oh no! Ah! Yo, he got catapulted. Oh my gosh! So that's how he died? He just... Probably like hit a rock or something on the way down? Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Well, clearly you didn't do it well enough. That must have been terrible for Sam, though, Mom to have to... Mom Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Wow. Yeah, I was about to say. Like, there's no way you can rope off Calvin's room and still have Sam in the room every day. That That's like... Depression 101. Go to bed every day literally looking at your dead brother's side of the room. That's, yeah. Nice little shortcut. Ooh, spooky! Ooh! See, this this is what qualifies it to be a spooky season game. Growing people... up, I always thought of Barbara Whoa. as a child star. Did she have an encounter with Bigfoot? Dreadful stories guest starring Barbara Finch. all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. We're getting straight into it. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it 
the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better As myself. Star, Barbara was famous for her scream. <whistles> now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. <laughs> Are you gonna call a 16 year old a what? She'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. <laughs> yeah, that's just the right friend, vision. <laughs> and current boyfriend, Rick was about to demonstrate when... Uh-oh. Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration but I'm not hearing terror. Okay, what I'm hearing I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orcas Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? I'm hooked. Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding... Wait. And winding the music box that I finally the key pops out. Wound out earlier? They'll be back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh, I'm interacting with the comic book. <gasps> Wait, how did he get into the basement? If the key was in the box. Oh, nah, this is creepy. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. And a splatter of blood? Use use the crutch as a weapon, bro. Use the crutch as a weapon. Huh. Oh, yep, we're gonna get into combat. I can swing it. Wait, this is a... I'm gonna call it right now. This is a practical joke to try to get her to do a, a good scream. Deh, deh. Hit the boxes. Deh. Hit the, hit the wood thing. Hit the wood thing. Hit the, hit the wood thing. Right, right. Oh, I can walk through. Peter is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. This is a practical joke from her boyfriend. To, yep. To get her to scream. I'm calling it right now. Oh dear. Bro said, "Oh dear." <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was such a delayed reaction. Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm I not it. scared, Rick. I'm furious. Oh dear. I'm <laughs> furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, crutch? Have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Not the picture show. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. It sounds like he's going to be dead anyway. Bro.
quick, open the door, get help. He ran into the basement, 100%. Or he's at the door? I don't know. From inside the house. Uh oh. Never turn your back on the enemy, bro. Wait, there's two of them. Yeah, what kind of video game is this? Oh. Wait, wait, she what? Saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but. Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. She got turned into stew. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Oh! Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> Dang, that was crazy. It's a comic book, though. It's not real. It's not real. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Or maybe it was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Hmm. A lot of these feel like a, a dramatization. Is that a right is that the right word? A dramatization of their actual deaths, but who knows, maybe I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Yeah, now we know, man. <laughs> now we know. Yeah, that music box is way more dark now like i didn't think much of it when i first opened it but now it's like a whole different thing crazy how co context all those times i played with the music box and never found the basement key that's what i'm saying all right here we go the ear is not in here right yeah just keep turning it just keep, just keep turning it keep turning keep turning keep turning keep turning am i turning it the right way i don't think i'm turning it the right way <laughs> keep turning i don't remember it taking this long okay <laughs> There it is. Nice. All right, into the basement. I hate basements. I hate basements. Even though I lived in one for like six months. Oh, here's the I fridge. Maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Whoa. Is there just a random paint can holding the door open? Back. I can barely see anything. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Bro, they got the mine shaft. What is this? She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. This is like the number two rule of Minecraft, man. You don't build your mine shaft in your house. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. I mean, you got pretty far in building the freaking mine shaft. Walter, 1952 to 2005. I mean, he lived a long time. 50 some odd years. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Thank you. Okay, Markiplier. <laughs> On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive the evening. Huh? Earthquakes or what? Whoa! And after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. This is so cool, man. Having a schedule, living for today. Oh! I always expected to be dead tomorrow. I thought that was paint. <laughs> it's peaches. But if you wait long enough, 
you be used to anything. What, again? Oh, he and gulps day, those down. Everything just... 2005. This is the day he dies. Stop. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Huh? Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. I'm on that same vibe, for real. <laughs> I'm on that same vibe after everything I've been through this month. It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. Oh, you're gonna get killed. This is a, this is a tactic from whatever's trying to kill you. I don't know. Tight corridors. You know how much I love tight corridors. I know it's out there somewhere. Uh, don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Whatever killed Barbara. I don't like it. Molly. And Molly. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, Molly killed herself. I don't like it. I don't like it. And Calvin. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. He's determined. I like it. Markiplier's on a journey. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. Bro's gonna get hit by a train, watch. <laughs> He's gonna get hit by I a train. I don't mind if I only have a year left. A is, he, is he sick? Oh. Or a single week. He's speaking theoretically, as you do. I'd be happy. Wow, the outside oh, world. Imagine. Rock slide. <laughs> oh, train! It's a train! I called it! <laughs> I called it! Oh my gosh. That's how it goes. Died when I, was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. It makes you wonder, though. If the house is cursed, and everyone in the family died... I can only imagine what else she was hiding. If everyone in the family died... Well, there's only one one person left. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Right? Like, oh, look at all this trash. COVID-20 is in there, bro. I, I have a eerie feeling that, um... Now that there's our only girl's gonna die. Left. Or maybe two. Maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. Or you're about to repeat history right now. Get off the railroad tracks. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. Mmm. Again, poetry slam. Whoa, the railroad tracks cut off. Oh, wow. Literal rock slide. There's something out there on that island. Are those lawn chairs? I don't know if I should even be writing this. So she's speaking in the past tense, so clearly she makes it out of this alive. Okay, we're good. We're chilling. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. Who's you? Is you me? Am I you? And the history you're a part of. What are you talking about? The clouds are cradling the moon. Mmm. <laughs> Poetry slam. Oh my gosh, I thought the Attack on Titan theme started playing. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> I'm being called! What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? <laughs> oh my the gosh. The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Oof. The pet cemetery. Dang, man! There's no way this many pets... Mine and oh. In my fault. You buried the gerbils, dude? No, no not Burpy, Chirpy, and Derpy, no! No, not Derpy! Lurpy, Zerpy, where's Bob? Bob better not have died. <gasps> There's no way this many pets died naturally. Like, of natural causes. There's no Sven way. Someone built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly. Calvin. Sven. Edie. Walter. Barbara. Oh, no. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. Odin, yeah. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. 
Wow. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every Oh! That's the old house? I don't know why, but that's giving me chills. Gregory, Sam, and Gus. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Dang. She Lewis. She two of her brothers, just like I did. Sanjay. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Lewis has a crown. <laughs> Bergman. Milton. We never found Milton's body. So my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Oh, wow. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. And be the final nail in the coffin, more like? If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Oh! Uh, you're, you're doing this while 22 weeks pregnant? Where is your husband? Where is daddy at? Oh. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Well, uh, I, hey, if I looked like that, I would be afraid of being in front of the camera too. <laughs> oh no. Ron, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Whoa! Yes, Didn't These mean to do that. These are gonna last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. I gotta like, keep it at the right focus? What I the? I don't have to shoot anything. It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Bro, this is crazy. Perfect. I'm taking a picture of you. <laughs> it's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Whoa. I will oh. never forget this weekend, Dad. Alright, let me get the That's framing the spirit. right. Witcha! Uh, what am You're I right, supposed Dad, to be? Dad, it's starting to clear up. It's uh, freezing, though. Oh no, is that a shrine from Blair Witch? Oh, frick! Oh, aha. Uh -huh. like hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. She got You're my sense of humor. <laughs> Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. I'm so confused all the Last time. time. I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. I can't zoom in on the box. What does it say? I can't see. What is this? Dad. Oh. Guys, Don. What the freak? That's a really good picture. What the heck? Next to the drying socks. Let me get a picture of Uh, what? Whoa! What am I looking at right now? Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Take the shot. Whoa, that was cool. Great shot, Don. Oh my gosh, he caught the... <laughs> oh, rest in peace, man. I'm proud of you, Don. Bro, he's out of focus. That, okay? Oh, oh, I can walk around. <laughs> what the freak? Oh yeah, post up, man, post up. <laughs> Sorry, Don, just gotta reset the timer. Oh my gosh, <laughs> wait, it resets every time? Get up there. <sighs> Gotta get my cardio in. Yeah, post up. Dad, it, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on Gang. the Gang! <laughs> <Think about> Dad! <gasps> of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. I think, I think we've already established that. <laughs> oh no, not a baby. Gregory. Oh, creepy. Creepy baby. <laughs> Gregory, Don. No, I don't want to... Okay, well, keep that in mind. Why is there a stripper pole in the baby's room? <laughs> Divorce contract. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? <laughs> Something funny was happening, but only he could see it. This is getting too real. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. So, he's a schizophrenic baby? Oh my gosh, I'm controlling the frog! What the- what? Grab the drain! Grab the drain! 
Wait, 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 wait. Time over, Gregory. It's time to. Hold on, sweetie. What the? Hello? Yeah, the baby better not drown. I told you I don't want to talk. You right cannot now. leave babies unattended in water. Whoa! All right, get the bubbles. Get the bubbles! My depth perception is so off. Okay, let's go. I'm worried about a baby being too happy. What? Why would you worry about him being too happy? But I can feel him slipping away. Woo! But I can feel him slipping away. What are you talking about, man? Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. On. I don't want Gregory to hear this. Gregory's one year old. Oh, are they fighting over the phone? Because of the divorce thing? I wish you could have told me. <gasps> and he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. Oh my gosh, bro. Frank. Holy Bible, yeah, you need you need Jesus. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Uh, I mean, but you're supposed to talk about it. That's the whole point. <laughs> I can't imagine what it was like for her to lose two sons after she'd already lost two brothers. Oh, it's like a fireman's pole. Okay, it's not... <laughs> oh my gosh. The was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. What the? Bro got a castle for his birthday? Milton the Finch in the magic paintbrush. Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 okay. This is cool. A chew. Bro, how long is this book? <laughs> whoa! Bro's got talent. The freak. Oh, it ended. It ended. That was the whole thing? I was four when Milton disappeared. Disappeared. Oh, so he didn't die. He disappeared. Mom <laughs> definitely blamed Edie, but... Oh, boy. I think Lewis blamed himself. This is where it all ends. It's all After over but the crying. just spent more and more time in his room. Until mom got him a job at the cannery. Ah, uh, it comes full circle. The cannery. A moment. Oh, bro. Bro is ripping the bong. Oh, my gosh. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. <laughs> that part of him lived on. Yeah. He was chill like that. <laughs> Dear Mrs. Finch. As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Oh, Newly man. sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Oh, it's not his blood, okay. Friggin' dead! Friggin' guillotine him! Oh! He kept working at the cannon. Oh, wait. But he withdrew part of himself. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. There. Nope, I'm not getting the hang of it. His mind began to... Huh? I'm looking at right now. Wonder. Wonder? Oh, I can move. Oh. I worried about him. Am I playing a game within the game? <laughs> daydreaming at the cannery. I even encouraged him. The daydream is getting bigger. It seemed very promising at first. I'm seeing less and less of the real he world. He'd made a new friend. <gasps> a puppy! Hey, 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 
Oh, uh, nope, you threw off the rhythm, man. You threw off the rhythm. He's always humming something, so he could do whatever he wished. Bro imagined himself as a ruler? What the freak? He held an election for men. He held an election, so... And he won. Of course he did. Ha! <laughs> what the heck? Was that a Mario he reference? To stay, but his mind was already wandering. Whoa! Lewistopia is crazy. Bro, the daydream is consuming his entire reality now. A city, then immediately push on. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Uh, she's not speaking words. Lewisburg. He heard rumors of a beautiful prince or a handsome queen. Uh, let's go over to handsome queen, handsome bro. Queen. Wait. Logic remained sound. Oh my gosh, the daydream is full HD, 4 quality. In his own eyes, he becomes something greater than a king. What, he's imagining he's a god? Not with that hair, you're not. I, oh, I'm not cutting fish anymore. Oh my gosh, yo, yo! Yo! What we got going on here? Oh, this is his locker, 100%, because of the Imperial Palace. <gasps> this is his palace. This is his kingdom. Wow. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. What's up, man? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> He's gone off the deep end. Oh, the hair. Look at the attention to detail. This is his imaginary self, and this is his physical body. Oh my gosh, this game is so good. I oh. still thought I could save him. Even Going after up the he conveyor belt. He was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. <laughs> being blinded. The palace would be packed with his companions. Uh. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! All right, I gotta walk. His queen waited, holding his crown. Yo, Kia! Bend down his head. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Dang. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Hmm. Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Are we at the final room? But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Here we go. This is what remains of Edith Finch. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Eden, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Whoa. 
Spoopy, 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 spoopy. The power had been shut off that morning. Oh, great. Edie always had plenty of candles. Spoopy, spoopy. When my spoopy. mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. The library, I don't think she knew the other or entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. Uh. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. Dang, bro. They're really going at it. History of the Finches. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you. There's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Am I Edie right now? It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. I'm reliving Hurricane Ian right now. This is trippy. Because the tide was the same, like... I never thought I'd go back to it. Our, like, giant lake, river, or whatever, just the completely emptied. I lost my way. Oh, no! Not the fog! Why is it always fog? Follow the words, bro. Follow, follow the floating words. I started seeing things. Whoa. It's like the fog from Fallout 4. It makes you crazy. A lawn chair. <laughs> that night, a lot of things came back to me. This, yep. Maybe I came back to them. It's the old house. Why? <laughs> How is this still intact? Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw great-grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. She dipped? Really? After that, we moved around a lot. A few years went by. Are they made of letters? Oh my gosh. What is this game right now? My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> she got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. Appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. What is happening? This journal was supposed to be for you, but now I hope you'll never see it. Uh, huh? I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. Oh, she's talking to the I baby. This now. Things didn't work out that way. She's talking to the baby. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Edith Finch. Huh? What? Wait, so what happened to her? Did she die in 
childbirth? Bro, what? Oh, I'm recording. Okay, but I'm recording. I'll be out there in a minute. What is that timing? <laughs> my my family came busting into the room to tell me something. <laughs> that was funny. Very fitting. Well, that was what remains of Edith Finch. This was a very interesting game, to say the least. Just a visual masterpiece. I love the storytelling in this one. Obviously, it wasn't an outright horror game, but it got pretty spooky at certain points. Uh, the, the kid being born, he's the first generation of finches that is separated from that whole curse, I guess you could say. This was a refreshing experience from the horror games that I've been playing recently. <laughs> I enjoyed this a lot. If you guys did as well, make sure to leave a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless. Take care and peace.